Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Today is day 29 of my 30 day lip challenge where I challenge myself to try all the products I have and figure out what I like, what I don't like and get rid of things that don't serve me. Today is a very, very sad story and I'm gonna tell you the story so you know I gave it a shot. On my lips, is the brand new Power Matte Lipstick from NARS. Now, if you have been watching my series or if you've watched any of my content, you will know that NARS makes some of my favorite lip formula, hands down. Their Afterglow Lip Balms are one of my favorite balms. The Soft Matte Formula is beautiful. The Air Matte Formula I just discovered I actually really like. Even going back further, I love the crayons and I uh, adored their Velvet Lip Glide. That formula was one of the best. They should have never gotten rid of it, whatever. So when NARS comes out with a new lip product, more often than not, I am the first in line to purchase it. And funny enough, I actually was the first in line to buy this lip product. I ordered it on Sephora and it came in the mail today. I ordered the shade Highway to Hell. Now, I have not swatched Highway to Hell yet because as I was with my sister this weekend in Connecticut, I happened to be near a Sephora. And I walked in and they had all of the colors and they even had a color that I had originally wanted to purchase. I didn't want to purchase Highway to Hell. I actually wanted to purchase Mogador. And that is what I have on my lips now. I have Mogador on my lips because I bought it in the mall today. And in the mall, while I was swatching in Sephora, I swatched every single shade in the line. And I have to tell you, the line, the color range is stellar. It's gorgeous. There are so many colors in the line that I love. I did not lip swatch it in the store. I just swatched it on my hand, kind of like what I've done here. And I thought it seemed like a beautiful formula. One swipe color seemed like it had a little bit of creaminess to it. So it wasn't gonna be overly drying. So I went ahead and I purchased the color I really had wanted, Mogador. And I, I was about to purchase a couple of others, but I reined it in and I said, you know, I know at home, there's another one waiting for me in New York. So let me just get this one. And I put it on and I realized this was a formula that when you swipe it on, it has some creaminess. It allows for you to disperse the product and then there is a full dry down. So you will see this is completely transfer proof. So even though it is a bullet lipstick, it is transfer proof and the packaging is sick. It's beautiful. It is an all matte slim component and it matches the lipstick, which I just adore from NARS typically. The problem with this lipstick is it starts to crack and flake if you can see it right here, I've barely had this on and I've only drunk water from a water bottle. That's all I've done. And it has cracked completely. My lips feel so dry, like really powder, powder, powder dry. It doesn't feel like there's a lot on my lips, so it is thin, but they're just very, very dry and it's literally flaking off. And if you try to layer this, because I did try to do that. I did try to layer a second time. It doesn't go well. It doesn't go well. It's really tuggy and doesn't have that creaminess of fresh application. It's a little sticky at first and then it will have a dry down, but it will start to flake off in bits. So I don't think it's a real like layerable product. I'm so disappointed. I started to swatch all the colors I thought were were similar. I'm not even done yet, but as much as I love the color Mogador, 
And as much as I wanted to love this, I don't think I love this product. And I felt like I had to jump on and let folks know. The Soft Matte Balm is so much better. Up here is Whiplash in the Soft Matte formula. And that's like such a good formula. But this is such a terrible formula. I don't know what happened. The only other formula I haven't tried of theirs is the Liquid Power Matte. I thought this was gonna be something up my alley and it's, um, I'm sad it's not. And I'm not gonna open the Highway to Hell, although it's a gorgeous color. I'll open it so you can see it, but I'm, I won't swatch it because I'm just gonna return it. But it's this color here. It's a little more like a rosy brick color. And when I swatched it in store, it looked a lot, oh, it's just such a pretty color. Mm. All the colors are so pretty. I don't love swatching in store on the lips, but I guess if you sanitize and everything, it's okay. Maybe it's worth doing. If you're considering this product, I would do that. I would go to the store and check it out. And I would give yourself like 10 minutes before you gauge it. It's also impossible to make it look nice, like your lip lines, you would have to use a lip liner. And I don't know, it just kind of looks a little clownish. Day 29 is a dud. I'm so sorry. I hadn't even planned on doing a video on this product, but I was so excited about getting it. And I thought, well, what a nice surprise. And it has no scent, no scent really is such a pretty pretty product but pretty does not make for a great lip product and I mean do you see how it just looks terrible and I swear give this like one minute I'm gonna drink water it shouldn't disappear on water it's like it feels totally transfer proof but then you drink just some water and like water is enough to make it start to flake off. It's starting to peel off. It's on my water bottle. I don't know, this is not a good lipstick. I think the concept is great. I think the lip color range is great. I love the packaging. I love that it's scent free. But the formula, I feel like they should have just added a little more creaminess to it like forget about the total dry down still add some of that emolliency the kind that you have in the lip balm and throw it in this product and they think you could have had a great product maybe it wouldn't have been fully dried down matte but this is not even that comfortable and it's not even it won't even withstand what it needs to if you're gonna go down this alley. If you're gonna go down this alley, do the Too Faced Melted Matte, cause at least that's not going anywhere. And it's a real full, even application of color. You can see I even swatched Gingerbread Girl right there. And this is Mogador. And I mean, look how smooth the application on that is. And this one is, I mean, look at this. It's so crazy. Hmm. Anyway. Save your money. This is a skip. Don't do it. While you're at it, don't do that Dior one either. That is a lipstick that is also long wear. It's terrible. It's terrible. I tried that too. Awful. I'm not even gonna do a video on that one because no one should be spending that much money on lipstick when it performs the way it does, which is awfully, awfully. Anywho, I'll link down some of my NARS uh, videos below that I that shows that I really, really, really do love NARS, typically. And hopefully, day 30, as the grand finale has some good stuff. I think I'm going to do a couple of, of, of lip products I haven't tried yet, and then we'll do a full lip declutter to end the series. I hope everyone is doing great and we will talk soon. Take care everyone. Bye.